ओम शांति फोर्टीन जनवरी इंग्लिश मोली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एवरी वर्ड यू स्पीक शुड बी वेरी स्वीट एंड फर्स्ट क्लास द फादर इज द रिमूवर ऑफ सॉरो एंड द बेस्ट जूवर ऑफ हैप्पीनेस यू हैव टू गिव हैप्पीनेस टू एवरी वन लाइक द फादर डज क्वेश्चन इन वॉट वे शुड यू गिव दिस नॉलेज टू योर फ्रेंड्स एंड रिलेटिव आंसर यू शुड स्पीक टू योर फ्रेंड्स रिलेटिव एक्सेट्रा वेरी लविंगली विद अ स्माइल एंड अ लॉट ऑफ ह्यूमिलिटी एक्सप्लेन टू दैम दैट दिस इज द सेम महाभारत वॉर द फादर हैज क्रिएटेड रुद्र सेक्रिफिशियल फायर ऑफ नॉलेज he says i tell you the truth you have been performing devotion for many births it is only now that knowledge begins whenever you have a chance talk to them very tactfully continue to move along with a lot of love for your family never cause sorrow for anyone song at last the day for which we had been waiting has come om shanti when any of these songs are played your children should understand their meaning you can extract the meaning in a second there is the unlimited clock of the drama on the path of devotion people call out it is just as when there is to be a court case people ask when will the hearing take place when will we be called so that our case can be settled therefore you children also have a case what case ravana has brought you a great deal of sorrow your case is being taken to the high court people continue to call out baba come and liberate us from sorrow your hearing will definitely take place one day the father does listen to you and he comes at precisely the accurate time according to the drama there cannot be the difference of even a second the unlimited clock functions accurately the watches you have do not function as accurately each task of this yagya has to be performed very accurately even the clock has to be very accurate the father is very accurate the hearing will also take place very accurately he comes at the accurate time of the confluence of every cycle so you children have now been heard and baba has therefore come you now explain to everyone previously you didn't understand who made you unhappy the father has now explained that ravana's kingdom begins with the copper age you children now know that baba comes in the unlimited night at the confluence of every cycle it is shiv baba who comes in the unlimited night this is not a question of krishna the father the son of knowledge comes when people are sleeping in the darkness of ignorance in order to take them into the day he says remember me because you have to change from impure to pure only the father is the purifier only when he comes can he hear you your hearing is now to take place the father says i have come to purify the impure I show you such an easy way to become pure nowadays there is so much power of science atomic bombs make such a loud noise you children gain victory over science with the power of silence silence is also called yoga you souls used to remember your father and would say baba when you come we can go and reside in our land of silence therefore you children gain victory over science with your power of yoga that is with your power of silence you are attaining the power of silence destruction will take place through science 
Your children gain victory through silence. Those with physical power cannot gain victory over the world. Write these points up at your exhibitions. Plenty of service can take place in Delhi because Delhi is the capital. Your capital will also be Delhi. Delhi is called Paristhan, the land of angels. There aren't any Pandavas forts. People built a fort to protect them from enemy attacks. You have no need of forts, etc. You know that you are establishing your own kingdom with the power of silence. Those people have artificial silence, whereas yours is real silence. It is said the power of knowledge and the power of silence. Knowledge means a study. You receive power through this study. A police superintendent has so much power. All of those are physical things that cause you sorrow. All of your matters are spiritual. Whatever words emerge from your mouths have to be first class and so sweet that those who listen to you become happy. The father is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness. You children have to give happiness to everyone in the same way. You should not cause your extended family to experience any sorrow either. You have to interact with everyone with discipline. Interact with your elders with a lot of love. Such sweet first class words should emerge from your mouth that anyone who hears them becomes happy. Tell them, Shri Baba says, Manmana Bhav, I am the highest on high. By remembering me, your sins will be absolved. You have to talk to them with a lot of love. If there is an elder brother around, tell him, Dadaji, Shri Baba says, remember me. Shri Baba, who is also called Rudra, has created this sacrificial fire of knowledge. You would never have heard that Krishna created the sacrificial fire of knowledge. People only speak of the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. Rudra, Shiv Baba, has created this sacrificial fire of knowledge. He is teaching you knowledge and yoga to enable you to claim a kingdom. The father also says, God speaks. Constantly remember me alone because it is now the final moments for everyone. It is everyone's stage of retirement. Everyone has to return home. When someone is about to die, he is told to remember God. God himself comes here and says, Death is standing ahead of you. No one can be saved from it. The father comes at the end of the cycle and says, Children, remember me and your sins will be burnt away. This is called the fire of remembrance. The father guarantees that your sins will be burnt in this remembrance. There is no other way for your sins to be absolved and for you to become pure due to the burden of the sins on your heads and because alloy has been mixed into it. The gold is now only 9 carat. When it is only 9 carat gold, it is called artificial gold. How can it become 24 carat gold again? How can your souls become pure? A pure soul will also be given pure ornaments. You have to speak to your friends, relatives, etc. very lovingly with a smile and a lot of humility. Explain to them that this is the same Mahabharata war. This is called the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. We are now being given the knowledge of the beginning, middle and the end of the world by the Father. You cannot receive this knowledge anywhere else. I am telling you the truth. 
You have been performing devotion for many births. It is now the time for this knowledge to begin. Devotion is the night and knowledge is the day. In the golden age, there is no devotion. You should speak to them in a tactful way whenever you have a chance. Before you shoot an arrow, you have to consider the time and the circumstances. You need great tact in order to give knowledge. The father gives different methods to everyone. Purity is very good. Lakshmi and Narayan are worthy of worship. They were pure and worthy of being worshipped. Then they became impure and worshippers. It doesn't seem right for pure ones to worship the impure. Some even ran away from impure ones. The Vallabhacharis, sect of Krishna devotees, never allow anyone to touch their feet. They believe that human beings are dirty. In temples, only the Brahmin priests are allowed to touch the deity idols. Shudra human beings are forbidden to touch the idols. Only the Brahmin priests are allowed to bath them, etc. No one else is allowed to go there. There is so much difference. Those Brahmins are born through a womb, whereas you true Brahmins are mouth-born. You can explain very well to those Brahmins that there are two types of Brahmin. One type is those who are mouth-born progeny of Prajapita Brahma and the other type is the progeny born through a womb. The Brahmins who are the mouth-born progeny of Brahma are the top note. When a sacrificial fire is created, Brahmin priests are appointed to take care of it. This sacrificial fire is of knowledge. You Brahmins are given knowledge and you then become deities. The different castes have been explained to you. Serviceable children are always keen to do service. Whenever there is an exhibition somewhere, they will instantly run there. They feel that they have to go and explain these points of knowledge. Subjects are created very quickly at the exhibition. Many come by themselves. Therefore, clever ones who can explain clearly are needed. If someone doesn't explain fully, people would say, Is this all the knowledge that the Brahma Kumaris have? Therefore, this service would be done. This is why you need an alert person to watch over the guides as they explain. If important people come, someone who can explain well should speak to them. Those who are unable to explain clearly have to be removed. There should be someone who is able to supervise very well. You also have to invite the Mahatmas. Simply tell them that this is what Baba says. I am God, the highest on high. I am the Father, the Creator. Everyone else is part of creation. You receive an inheritance from the Father. What inheritance would a brother give to a brother? No one else is able to give you the inheritance of the land of happiness. Only the Father can give you that inheritance. Only the Father is the one who grants salvation to all. You have to remember Him. The Father Himself comes and creates the golden age. He creates heaven through the body of Brahma. People celebrate the birthday of Shiva, Shiv Jayanti. But what did He do? Everyone has forgotten all of that. Shiv Baba comes and teaches you Raj Yoga and gives you your inheritance. Bharat was made into heaven 5000 years ago. It cannot be a question of hundreds of thousands of years. The dates and time are in front of you. No one can prove them to be false. The new world and the old world have to be half and half. Those people say 
that the duration of the golden age is hundreds of thousands of years. If that were the case, nothing could be calculated accurately. There are, in fact, four equal parts of the swastika. Each age is 1250 years. A calculation can be made. Those people do not know any of these calculations. That is why they are said to be worth shells. The father is now making you worth diamonds. Everyone is impure, which is why they remember God. God comes and makes you beautiful with knowledge. He decorates you children with the jewels of knowledge. Just look what you then become. What is your aim and objective? Have you forgotten how Bharat used to be crowned? The Muslims looted so many diamonds etc. from the Somnath temple and used them all in their mosque. No one could put a value on them now. There used to be so many large jewels in the crowns worn by the kings. Some would have jewels worth 100,000 and others would have jewels worth 500,000. Nowadays, there are so many artificial things. The artificial happiness of this world is only worth a few pennies. Everything else is sorrow. Therefore, sannyasis say that happiness is like the droppings of a crow. That is why they leave their homes and businesses. However, even they have now become totally tamopradhan. They have now pushed their way into the cities. But to whom would you go and complain? There are no kings or queens. No one would listen to you. They would say, that each one has his own opinion that they can do whatever they want, that this world is created through thoughts. The father now enables you children to make effort in an incognito way. You experience so much happiness. All the other religions expand at the end. Then there is war and a great deal of conflict. You stay in happiness for three quarters of the cycle. This is why the father says that your deity religion gives you so much happiness. I make you into the masters of the world. None of the other founders of the religion establish a kingdom. They do not grant salvation to anyone. They simply come to establish their own religion when even they have become totally tamopradhan by the end. The father has to come to make them totally satopradhan. Thousands of people come here, but they do not understand anything. Some children write to Baba saying that so and so has understood very well and that he is very good. Baba says he hasn't understood anything. If he had understood that Baba has come and is making us into the masters of the world, he would become intoxicated and instantly buy a ticket at that very moment and come running here. However, you must also have a letter of introduction from your teacher when you come to meet the father. Once you recognize the father, you cannot delay coming to meet him. You would have a great deal of intoxication. Those who are intoxicated in this way would have a lot of happiness inside them. Their intellects wouldn't wander to their friends and relatives. However, the intellects of many of you continue to wander around while living at home with your family. Remain as pure as a lotus flower and stay in remembrance of the Father. This is very easy. Stay in remembrance of the Father as much as possible. You are able to take leave from work. Therefore, take a couple of days leave from your work and sit in the pilgrimage of remembrance. In order to sit in remembrance, you should repeatedly think, I will keep a fast of remembrance of the Father. 
you would then accumulate so much. All your sins would also be absolved. You have to become totally pure by having remembrance of the Father. No one is able to remain in remembrance throughout the whole day. Maya definitely creates obstacles. Even so, it is by making this effort that you gain victory. Think, today I will sit in the garden and whole day and simply remember the Father. Even while taking meals, I will simply sit in remembrance. This does take effort. We definitely do have to become pure. You have to make effort and show the path to others. The badges are very good. If you talk amongst yourselves in the street, many would gather and listen to you. The father says, remember me. Once they have received this message, you are free from the responsibility. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. Essence for dharna. First point. Take live from your work and make a vow to stay in remembrance. In order to gain victory over maya, make effort to have remembrance. Second point. Serve your friends and relatives very lovingly with a smile and a lot of humility. But... Don't allow your intellect to wander towards them. Give everyone the Father's introduction with a lot of love. Blessing. May you constantly be an embodiment of success in the service of world benevolence with your practical example of benefiting the self. Description. Just as nowadays there is a lot of physical illness of heart failure, Similarly, there is the illness of being disheartened in spiritual progress. Such disheartened souls can only have courage or power when they see some practical transformation. People have heard a lot and they now wish to see something. They want to see transformation through a practical example. So, for world benevolence, first of all, be a sample by benefiting yourself. The method to become an embodiment of success in the service of world benevolence is a practical example. The Father's revelation will then take place through this. People will accept what you say is visible in your form in a practical way. Slogan, to harmonize the ideas of others with your own ideas is to give regard, special homework to experience the awake stage in the Soviet month. From the moment of waking up at Amritvela, become regular in your every action, thought and word. Let there not be a single word that is wasteful. Just as important people have their speeches fixed, similarly, your words should be fixed. Do not speak anything Extra Om Shanti